It's February 27th, and you're listening to Bites Over Bagels! Chicago's favorite tech morning show. I'm joined here in the studio again with one Miss Heather Brown. Hey, hey, Chicago. In place of Steve Polly Polichek, we've got one Mr. Barrett Mackey. Vroom, vroom, engine's running. And everyone's favorite nemesis, one Mr. Dave Seidler. Thrilled once again to be here, guys. All right, we got a great show for you guys this morning. We're actually going to be joined with Katie Lynch uh, from Social Katie, which is a certified social media assassin. Yeah, they got ninjas on their homepage. They have ninjas on their homepage. So what else is special about this morning is we've got Brett Mackey here. And Brett, tell them what you're doing with your head right now. It's a little thing I call bald tech. So I got a beautiful bald dome and uh you know i do i shave this thing every day so what's the best way to go about it i say evoo extra virgin olive oil that's right every morning grease it up like a bowl of pasta people and you will have the smoothest greasy globe you've ever had and and so how much how much oil are we talking about here am i like emptying a bottle no, oh, that's the face. beautiful thing. It's a it's a quarter teaspoon of oil for my whole dome. And it and it really works. It's the best I'm, shave you've ever had. Hands down, the best shave I think I've ever had. I researched the hell out of this and by far it is the popular opinion for bald beautiful people. Uh, let's let's just also add that it smells like a Italian eatery in our office every <laughs> single day. It's, it's not too, yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. Brett we, walks in, I ask for some Parmesan and bread. Let's just say that. <laughs> the title of today's episode is... Today's episode is brought to you by NYC Bagel Deli Catering. Get some fresh, baked, kettle-boiled bagels today. Mmm, good. It's now time for the one-minute segment we call The Bagel Bite. So have you guys heard of this uh, lobbying against Uber from the transportation industry here in Illinois? Yeah, and so for those of you who aren't familiar with Uber or haven't used Uber before, it started out as a black car service. So uh, they set up an app where you could put in your credit card information and store it, and then you would set your location, and the closest black car would come pick you up and take your uh, take you to destination A to B, and it would all be sort of paid for on the back end. So it's real convenient and really a nice service. Well, in 2012, they added taxi service to this. So you guys have been through this before, definitely, if you've been in Chicago, where if you want to order a cab, you have to call the company, and they don't pick up right away, and they sometimes are like, you know, we don't have any available, or it's going to be 10 minutes. Well, Uber simplifies that. Basically, they have an app. You set your current location, and based on that, they send a driver to you directly. Actually, uh, so I've been taking uh, an Uber ride to and from work now for about, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 days. SUV? Uh, please, taxi. Yeah. It's interesting that the controversy, it's all around the, uh, it's basically all around the taxi companies themselves not wanting the black car service to cannibalize their, uh, their business. But really what it comes down to is the taxi drivers love it. We love it. Every taxi driver I spoke to said the fact that they can have a ride within one mile radius of where they are is, is a game changer. And not doing the credit card dance and the cash exchange dance is also, you know, the same. So... For that, for that alone, I mean, it, let's, let's keep Uber around a little bit longer, Illinois. Look sharp, look sharp, Today's feature this. interview is with one Miss Katie Lynch, president and co-founder of Social Katie. Thanks for coming to the show, Katie. Yes, thanks for having me. So uh, the format of the show is this. We basically have five minutes and five questions. So if you go over that time, we'll cut you off with mid-sentence. But, oh, okay. Uh, you know, Hi, that's that's be... rude. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much. Right? We never said we were nice. <laughs> so the first question is, what is Social Katie? Well, we are a, in a nutshell, we're a full service social media marketing agency. Um, so we're based here in Chicago, in River North. Uh, we have around 26 uh, highly skilled brand managers on staff that basically create really robust, uh, kick-ass, am I allowed to say that? 
Cake ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we basically create cake ass social media campaigns for brands big and small. How can you tell a social media expert from a poser? That's a brilliant question. Uh, the posers uh, are very easy to spot. They're the ones who are telling you things like sign up for websites and pay X amount of dollars for 50,000 likes. Um, or, you know, they're people that basically promise you the moon. Whereas actual social media experts are people that genuinely understand your business model, you know, understand what your goals are and your objectives and come up with, you know, amazing social media campaigns that is ultimately going to uh, increase awareness and drive sales. What's the biggest thing brands keep screwing up in social that makes you basically want to pull your hair out? Well, I would probably say that I cannot stand brands that all they do is self-promote. Everything is me, 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 check out what we're doing, click on this link, buy this thing. Like people don't really want to hear that. Mm -hmm. And people are more apt to not click through and not make a purchase when a brand is too salesy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, social media is really all about engaging with people, having a conversation, having that kind of human element instead of trying to make a quick buck or two. What makes you geek out about the future of social media? What makes me geek out? Yes. Um, what makes you geek out? <laughs> I think the most exciting thing really um, and that I geek out about is the fact that you know, nowadays brands are accessible. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past with traditional media, it was all about kind of brands dictate how you feel about them. Brands dictate who they are and what they're about. Whereas now I feel like it's more about the people. The people tell the brands what they like about them. Uh, and I think that's really cool. And I think that that's just going to continue uh, to get bigger and bigger mm -hmm. in the future. In the two and a half years that Social Katie has been around, what has your proudest moment been? Cool. Yeah. I mean, there's been a number of really awesome things that have happened within the past two and a half years. Uh, you know, working with bigger brands, uh, being named Crane's Top Tip 50. And uh, two weeks ago, I just got engaged to my co-founder, Craig Elliott. So that was exciting. <laughs> All right. So, Katie, what everyone keeps asking us, what is your favorite bagel and how do you like it prepared? My favorite bagel is probably the poppy seed bagel, uh, toasted, plain cream cheese with a side of hot sauce. Ooh. Yes, I like things spicy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Calm down up there, listeners. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so what should our listeners do to find out more about Social Katie and your services? Yeah, so they can go to our website, uh, socialkatie.com. There's a number of case studies uh, as well as more information about the team there. Um, you can also check us out on facebook.com forward slash socialkatie um, as well as Twitter. And our business handle is at socialkatie. But if you want to know more about uh, my love for hot sauce, you can follow me personally at the Katie Lynch. Awesome. Well, thanks again for your time and best of luck to the Social Katie Empire. Thank you. Bye. The music you're listening to today is by 8 Fit Tiger. You can go to our website, fightsilverbagels.com, and we'll direct you to them. Or you can go download their album on iTunes or Bandcamp. And that concludes episode two of Fights Over Bagels. Woo! Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. You can check us out again on Twitter and Facebook. There should be some tweets going around. And a slug for next week's show. We're actually with Managing Director of Tech Stars Chicago, Troy Hennecoff. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll see you next week. Watch the plane back to the sky.